So there was Maceo, Fred Wesley, you know, Clyde Stubblefield, and they looking awfully angry. You know, I remember passing the dressing room and I saw Richard Cush Griffin had James Brown in a chokehold. I saw that, I was like, okay, I know something's going down. <laughs> what was going on was, it was a bit of a Mexican standoff between the guys and James because they weren't happy with the way James was doing some things. And uh, they decided, you know, unless you change what's going on, we're not playing. So they kind of had him over a barrel. But what they didn't realize was James had already prepared to have us come in. So after a while, Bobby Bird took us over to Mr. Brown's dressing room. And he's sitting there. James freaking Brown. <laughs> and he started talking. <laughs> But I know we're going to get y'all down here. Uh, I want you to, I want you to go up on the set with me and I'm going to count them songs off. And we're kind of looking at each other like, you know, because we didn't understand what he was actually saying. So they pushed us to the stage. It was the biggest crowd we'd ever seen, not to mention the biggest stage we'd ever been on. It was cute because we'd always been used to being close and we on this big ass stage and we like bundled up in the middle of it like this on this big stage, right? The people were kind of angry, you know, uh, not even kind of angry. And we didn't know what we were doing. We didn't have a plan. But then James Brown gets up on stage and he just turned around and said, cold sweat, hit me.